my name is crystal and you're watching chris codes um all my messages this week all my um special skits whatever you like to call it um it's going to be recurring throughout my channel as i build it so this one's going to be makeup and a message um you know it kind of touched my heart the stuff i've been going through and the stuff i've been seeing here lately so we're going to chat about that as we get into the makeup today So I already um, did my moisturizer, thus me looking like a grease ball. I already did shea butter and aloe vera. All the makeup that I use will be listed in the description below. So just check that out. And if you do enjoy this video and you want to see more things like this, feel free to hit that subscribe button, like, notification bell if you would like to as well. And yeah, let's get right into it. So, I did um I did jot down a few notes. <laughs> this is not all the notes, it's just one. Yeah. But just to keep track of everything. So first, let's get started. Now, I noticed here lately it's been a whole heck of a lot of stuff going on. Um, in regards to relationships, so on and so forth. You see all the celebrities getting divorces blah 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 and i want to touch on you know relationships this day and age like basically how to kind of steer clear of getting your heart broken so on and so forth if i do have guys watching this can pertain to guys as well a lot of my points can pertain to guys excuse me just trying to put, get this out of my head, get this out of my face anyway. So yeah, a lot of this can pertain to men as well. So if it is a guy, guys watching, stay tuned. You might, you know, learn something, pick up on some games, so on and so forth, so you can avoid not getting hurt too. I know every every guy out there is not, you know, trash like they say. <laughs> so let's get right into it. Um. I want to touch on the first thing, and that's with people that are playing games, okay? Let's get right into that. When it comes to playing games, men do it, women do it. We all have, I have to say, done it from time to time. You do it and you don't even realize you're doing it, you know? You'll, you know, say, oh, don't talk to me like for example women i'm never talking to you again don't call me don't text me blah 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 blah. and as soon as you know he hits you up oh my gosh it's him <laughs> you know what i mean that could be considered a game now with men it gets a little bit i say more what's a good word for it that doesn't come off rude a, it gets a bit more sinister when it comes to men. I'll say that. Now, I don't know if a lot of you all are familiar with the term narcissist and so on and so forth. I'm not really going to go into that. I'll probably touch on that in, in um, later videos at a later date. But I'm not going to touch on that here. But I'm going to pertain to some of the games that they play is what a lot of men play nowadays. So, I say... Don't play games. Don't play things. It goes both ways. So when I say don't play games, I'm saying, hey. Okay, so when I'm saying don't play games, I'm saying be straightfor be straightforward. Be honest. You're with your intentions and what you want in the future. If you want to just be out here in these streets, be out here in these streets, you know? Don't waste people's time that genuinely care about you. Because what people don't realize is karma is a being, okay? And what you put out in this world, you will get back. So as long as you all realize that when you're playing all these games with people, by all means, keep playing. Now, 
we're going to move right along because I probably will have a um, part to this because some stuff I'm going to elaborate on a little bit more. But like I said in later videos, I'm going to touch on the playing games, okay? So my next thing I'd say is ask all the questions up front that you want to know, okay? So that means where are you going to be the next five years, you know? Um, do you, if they don't tell you, if you're looking to get married within the next five years and they don't mention marriage, I think it's time to go, right? <laughs> so um, on the first date, boom, bow, you already know that that's not the one for you because your goals aren't matching with his goals. Get me? All right. Um, another question that could be, you know, pretty vital or so on and so forth, like, How's your relationship with your mother? Now, it's two ways this could go. Some men, you know, may not have the best relationship with their mother, but they don't badmouth her, which is key. You know, you don't want no man that's going to sit there and badmouth his mother. That's just my opinion. I don't want no man that is willing to disrespect his mother. If he'll disrespect his mother, guess what? Uh -huh. He'll disrespect you too. Boom. You ain't birthed the book. You ain't birthed the boy, did you? All right. Now, next, um, I'll give you all one more good um, question just in case you all aren't used to this. You're kind of timid, so on and so forth. Um, another good question to ask up front. is how was your last relationship? How was your last relationship? Now, it's similar to a job interview. If this man is telling you, oh, she's crazy. Um, she did this, she did that, and blah, 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 blah. Now, what I hear from Oh, she was crazy. She did this. She did that. She did this. She did that. Is I drove her absolutely insane to the point <laughs> to the point that she was willing to slash tires, bust windows, so on, so forth. And this is coming from a chick that would never, and I mean, never touch anybody's property because I know I don't want nobody touching my stuff. <laughs> All right. So, like I said. Um, point two, ask questions you want to know. Don't be timid. Don't be frightened to be running them off. Because if you ran them off, guess what? You saved yourself a whole heck of a lot of time. All right. Next, I say, do not believe everything that you hear. Oh, do I need to say this again for the people on the back? Do not, I repeat, do not believe everything you hear that's so vital when i say that it's so vital when it comes to relationships and especially in relationships that you've like left and came back to which i don't recommend but if trust isn't there already you definitely shouldn't be believing everything but still don't believe everything you hear, especially if the ish is not adding up, okay? Now, next thing, don't cross your boundaries. And now when I say the other points could be for the men as well, um, but this one I really put in place for women. Do not Cross your boundaries. If you give a man a mile, if you give a man an inch, he'll take a mile, okay? So, let's say if you are if you don't want to have sex before marriage and you do that. We're not going to go into that. That's going to be a whole other video. Y'all ain't ready for that one. But, do not cross your boundaries. It always ends up bad. If you 
know in your heart that that's not something that you want to do at that moment, don't do it. Because nine times out of ten, you're going to regret it. And if you don't resent yourself or if you're not upset with yourself, you're going to resent that person. And it's at the end of the day, you have nobody else to blame but yourself. Do not cross your boundaries. Next point. Leave after immediate flags. Leave after immediate flags. So now, I'm not going to give a ton of red flags or immediate red flags. I'll just give one or two in this video because I'm probably going to do a video later about that. Maybe later on this week I might post something like that. But do not, do not, do not stay if there's red flags at the beginning. Major red flags you can discuss. One red flag I'd say is like crucial or almost crucial would be one red flag that I feel like would be almost crucial or just pretty much crucial is like a lot of times they'll just straight up tell you like, okay, um, you know, I'm not ready for anything serious right now. I really, I really like you, you know, but I just, I'm just not ready for anything serious right now. You think that most women would already know that this is a red flag, but a lot of women are hell bent on changing men. You know, like maybe if I give him some, or maybe if I do this, or maybe if I do that, he'll like me more. Sweetie, that is not the case. Nine times out of 10, he'll leave even quicker after that. Like, <laughs> unless you're just doing freaked out stuff, you know? And you invite people in your bedroom, so on, so forth. But that's not going to keep me at all. At all, okay? Now, like I said, I'm not going to go super into red flags. I'll touch on that in another video. But yeah, because I was trying to get through this whole list and I make this video super, super long. Okay. So, next. Always pay attention. Men will tell you how they feel. Body languages, so on, so forth. And men are obvious. Women are complicated. Men are obvious. Not honest anyway, but they're obvious. They'll tell, they'll show you in actions. You don't have to believe their words. That's the thing. You don't have to believe them. They'll show you. If a man's telling you this, telling you that, oh, I love you so much, blah, 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 but he's steady cheating on you and apologizing or making you feel like it's your fault that he's cheating, uh, we'll go into that. But leave. Leave. Because if you're not valued in the beginning, do you think you're going to be valued in the end? <laughs> it doesn't work like that, sweetie. It really, really doesn't. So, Always pay attention to what these men do. Women do too. What women do too. Women will show you too. And now women are a little bit more sneaky with it. I will say that. And nowadays, like, we do got the women get the bag, get the bag, get the bag. But, yeah. Pay attention. Just pay attention. Because they'll tell you how they feel about you. They will tell you how they feel about you, okay? Now. Next thing. Don't feel like a man is a necessity. You don't have to be the woman. I don't need a man. I don't need a man for nothing. Blah, 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 blah. Like you don't have to be that girl. You don't. You don't have to be that girl. Cause we all want to want love. You know, we all want someone at the end of the day. But it's more to life than that. You should never be chasing after nobody. Honestly, you shouldn't be looking for nobody either. They'll come. They'll come. Ain't nobody check. No one's checking for a woman running after them. No one's checking for a woman that's like thirsty or extra. It's not cute. It's never been cute. And it's still not cute. <laughs> like, no one wants that. 
So, like I said, don't feel like he's a necessity. You need to find find what you want to do. Like, be about you. And be the woman that whoever you want would want. You get me? You all got to be realistic. You can't be living at home with your mom, no job, no car, but you want a baller. And then a lot of y'all want a baller, but y'all don't know what comes with that. <laughs> like, with some of them. Like, you, you all have to really realize what you want and stick to that. Stick to that. And don't settle for any Joe Smo that comes around sweet talking you. He's a dime a dozen, okay? He's a dime a dozen. Now, know who you are. A lot of you all get in relationships, me included, and you forget who you are. Because it's you and him. Everything is you and him. Or him or her and you. You know what I mean? For the men. And you don't even know what you like anymore. You know what we like. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what we like to do. But you don't even know you don't even know what you like anymore. You don't know what you value. Like that's sad. Like you lose your whole sense of self the minute you get in a relationship. That's how you know that is not okay. A relationship is supposed to build you. You are supposed to grow together, you know? But when I say grow together, you, you're supposed to grow together, but you're still supposed to be two separate individuals where you all get in relationships and you all are no longer that. And that's a problem. So that's what I mean by know who you are. You're not so-and-so's girlfriend. You're not so-and-so's boyfriend. You have a name. You have a purpose. And you should have goals that you want to accomplish. If you don't, that might not be the relationship for you. And if they're okay that you don't, that might not be the relationship for you. Now, next thing, find your purpose. Find your purpose. A lot of times you'll get lost in relationships. You don't know who you are and you'll find yourself depressed. Depressed insecure because you're not happy in this relationship but you don't know how to leave it and you don't know what you want to do next you don't know where to go because you don't know your life without this person and that's because you don't know you don't know what your purpose is you don't know why you're here people a lot of people commit suicide and do this and do that due to relationships like you all have got to figure out who you all are Okay? I, and I'm talking to you. I'm talking to me. I'm talking to everyone. Now, we got two more to go. And I'm trying to wrap up this look. This is going to be a very basic makeup look. Because it's really late. I just felt like getting on here. Chit-chatting it up. Okay. So. Next. Write down your deal breakers. A lot of you all, when I touched on um, don't cross your boundaries, it's hard to not cross your boundaries if you don't have any. <laughs> you know, I'm going to say that in the nicest way. It's hard. It's hard to not cross boundaries that you don't have and trust me men know if you got boundaries or not they know and they'll treat you as such they treat you 
how you portray to be who who you portray is who they see and a lot of y'all don't have any boundaries so you need to write down things that you don't like things that you're not willing to compromise on you need to write them down so you know and that helps to know yourself that helps you to figure out where you're going in life and what you want to do and when you're not looking for a guy and you get into a relationship and you start thinking like and you're starting starting out when you let me rephrase that when you run into a guy um willy-nilly you're not looking for anybody so on and so forth and you're gonna think because you know yourself and you're gonna start seeing things that you know you're not okay with they might up oh, this be This what? Just as fast as he called you, be just as fast as she called, he called her, be he called you one too. Know your boundaries. No, no, know your turnoffs. No things that you're not willing to be okay with, and write them down so you know. Write them down so you know. And if you know what's unacceptable, you'll never fall for what's not. Okay. And the immediate red flags, you'll dip because you already know what red flags are because of what you like and don't like. Get me? All right. And last but not least, now this is going to be a funny one just because of what we've been discussing. But this is not the norm anymore, okay? So let's get into that. Sometimes you gotta follow the man's lead. I know this sounds crazy. <laughs> I know this sounds crazy. But when you finally find, not even find, when that one finally finds you, y'all gotta know how to follow this man's lead. Okay? Because a lot of times, You'll sit there, let's say, you'll do anything for this guy to treat you any type of way, okay? Do anything for him. Break all your boundaries, whatever he asks you to do, you're a freak for him. But this man that found you, that treats you like gold and so on and so forth, you want to run over. You want to run out, run out on him, treat him any kind of way. Like he's nothing, so on and so forth. And of course, eventually, he gets tired of that. Who wouldn't? I get tired of you too. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, a lot of times, you all don't get it. Like, the men that you should be like, invested in and so on and so forth or you know trying to build with you did you too busy trying to break and it's not your fault it's not your fault we're going to elaborate into why it's not later but it's not all your fault but when you when that good guy finds you follow his lead stop trying to run all over guys and use them up until they're, there's nothing left. If they're treating you like gold. What sense does that make, ladies? What sense does that make, okay? I'm gonna go a little highlight under this brow right there. When I say I'm very grateful for the pastures I've had, they've been very different. 
but it's opened my eyes to a lot of things and I feel like it wouldn't even really be right if I didn't share them, you know, with everybody on here. Like, I've been talking about starting YouTube for the longest now. The longest, the absolute longest. And I said, you know, I'm gonna get on here and I'm just gonna talk. I'm gonna talk. I want you all to get to know me, so on and so forth. And I wanna help in any way that I can. And I plan to do that. Video because it is late. We're gonna do a little Coco craze, maybe. Or we can do a nude. I'll do a brown with you. Yeah, we'll do a brown. Why not? Why not? Okay. So, yeah. I really wish you all the best. And as far as like everything that I'm seeing in 2020 in relationships and like dating here lately, I feel like it's more and more YouTubers coming out and just trying to help people. You know, realize that you are scarring people for life. And it's not okay. Men, women, it goes both ways. You all are scarring people for life. All because you don't know who you are. You don't know what you want. And it's time that you all figure that out. It's time you figure Literally, it out. You hop from guy to guy to guy. Thinking. You're like, maybe he's it. Maybe he's it. Maybe he's it. I know he's not. Use him till he's done. And go to the next. And all you did was damage him even more. I do not like this color, you all. I just, I've never used this before. <laughs> and I was about to use my Coco Craze. But I was like, you know what, let me try this new little Maybelline lippy I picked up. Because it looked brown at first, but... It's not a dark enough brown. Maybe if I add enough, a different liner. Y'all are literally experimenting with me right now. Because when I say this is like the quickest little makeup job ever, I'm sure you all know this. But hey, it's what is it? Go, go, look on here. Watch me make this shape. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Trust me. Make this one shape. highlight and last mascara Alright, 
So the final look we will switch that apart maybe. Do a little side something something. Do a little side something. Give a little seductive vibe to it. Quick little makeup look. What you all think? I'm gonna go closer to get, get into it. <laughs> so yeah, this was makeup in a message. We will have more of these videos. We will have a lot more topics to discuss it's so much more we had to, we have to touch on i didn't do setting spray so once over like i said this was a very quick video because i just wanted to introduce makeup and a message with you all but yeah if you did like this video make sure you hit the like button subscribe and once again thank you for watching chris codes and um i'll see you all in the next video bye <laughs>